For our senior design project, my team and I have enrolled in the Shell Eco Marathon competition 2012. The goal of the competition is to build a vehicle that pushes the limits of what is possible for fuel consumption. We have designed and built everything. We had no manufacturing that we sent out to bring in. We've done all the layup ourselves. We've done all the frame building ourselves. We've done all the design ourselves. I think that that's the best way to do a senior design project and really adds to the learning experience. We've chosen to use bamboo as a natural resource, which is very, very strong, very, very light. Our frame weight ended up being 17 pounds, which is unheard of. Instead of using steel or aluminum, which use a lot of carbon dioxide to produce, we're using a material that absorbs carbon dioxide and offsets the carbon footprint. Bamboo is a good choice because it uh, has very similar uh, properties to metals in the fact that uh, the yield strength and uh, the flexion properties are very similar. It's light, uh, it's a renewable uh, resource, uh, and it also has similar properties to most metals. For members like this, we miter cut this point to fit onto this uh, member and then we impregnated the carbon fiber strands with epoxy and then simply wrapped it around and wrapped it crisscross. The most unique thing about our car is everything is handmade down from the frame to the steering to the shell. This is a brushless DC motor uh, with a gearbox uh, 1 to 15 gear ratio. Uh, this is where the mounting for the battery and auxiliary battery is. When first approaching this, we decided that we needed to build the frame first in order to fit the steering in it. After the frame was completed, we decided um, to start the SOLIDWORKS modeling process to make sure that every component fit inside our frame and was comfortable for the driver. We, we came across a lot of challenges fitting the steering within our frame. We ended up with one link attached to the steering column and then one long steel rod um, attached to both wheel steering pivots uh, in order to make sure that our geometry was correct and that we would have the correct turning radius. My role in this project was to design the shell of the car um, and that kind of gives the aerodynamic profile that is optimal for the car's operating conditions. Even though we're only going on average about 15 miles an hour, uh, airflow is still a, a really important role in the efficiency. We decided to uh, make the shell out of carbon fiber sheets. The, the main advantage of using carbon fiber versus uh, fiberglass or aluminum or, or various other things that other teams use is that carbon fiber is extremely strong and extremely light. Uh, and it's quite an involved process because uh, we have to make a plug and lay that out with fiberglass and then from there, use that fiberglass mold to make our carbon fiber shell. And to convert that concept from computer to reality was, was quite a challenging process. I'm standing in front of uh, the mold for the shell here, and this is actually a, a really in-depth process that we've taken a lot of consideration to how we really want the, uh, the final product to look. The first step to this was making a ribbed layout with um, like a plywood or particle board. Then we took an expandable foam that kind of filled in all the spaces and it was really a, an intense job sanding that all down perfectly so that it matched those ribs. The next step of the shell was to put a layer of Bondo over it. Typically Bondo is used as a, a filler for dents and, and bumps in, in cars, in um, car shells. So using this we were able to make a smooth profile that would really come out great for a mold and the final product of the shell. This experience has been a great culmination of the education we've gotten at Stevens. We've used statics to build the frame, which is a second year class. We've used dynamics in the frame, it's a third year class. Uh, we've used heat transfer to make sure the batteries don't overheat. Dynamics of mechanisms for the steering controls. We used almost every single class we've taken at Stevens to make this vehicle a possibility. You really realize that every single component Every single aspect of every class really goes into this project, especially one of this scale. One of the things that Stevens taught me through the design program that we have is actually designing something is completely different than, than manufacturing it on your own. A lot of classes I took for, as part of my undergraduate curriculum were involving manufacturing and processes and that kind of enlightened me on the topic of manufacturing properly. The competition went well for us. I think we represented Stevens in, you know, in a great light and even though it was one of the busiest times of my life, it was probably one of the best experiences of, of my life as well. Speed wasn't our goal. We were mainly looking for efficiency and we were able to achieve 2300 miles per gallon. 
which exceeded our goals, and we are very happy with this as a first year team in this competition. The Shell Eco Marathon was a great experience for all of us. I would love for Stevens to continue on with this tradition and, and make it an every year thing and try to be the best team that we can be.